Hi, I'm Aldine and this is The Creative 30. We're here today on the outskirts of West London to visit up-and-coming photographer Harley Weir. She's invited us to her home to talk more about her work and what inspires her. My name's Harley Weir and I'm a photographer and I have been taking pictures for about five years. I live in West London and this is, um, this is my room and this is where I take a lot of my pictures really. That was me when I was younger. How old were you there? Um, I think that was my fifth birthday. I like to have a variety of cameras at hand. This is my favourite camera and my first camera. Uh, it used to be my dad's, so I haven't bought an awful lot of cameras myself. This is another favourite. It pops out, which is very satisfying. This is the first one which I got into making movies with. This is a Super 8 camera and it, um, it's like electric. do so much more with film which you can't like going into the dark room and changing things like that and scratching on it I mean digital you can't even hold it it's like it's just a file it's down um, in the dungeon this is where all the magic happens I actually I really like experimenting in the dark room because you can do all sorts of like manipulation which is I think it's a good reason to, to carry on doing film because it's more of like an art but when I finally learn how to do photography properly and follow all the rules, I probably won't be good anymore. My favourite thing to shoot is people, first off. Um, so I always sort of have a bit of a, a muse. So first it was my little sister. I always used to take pictures of her. My, my sister's obsessed with animals. You can take such a nicer picture of someone you know because they're comfortable with you. It's not like contrived and you didn't force it. This was in Berlin. We went and um, it was in one of the photo booths and um, we set off a, a smoke bomb. It's a minute to poodle. <laughs> Obedience, four. See, that's, yeah. Huggability, nine. Intelligence, eight. This is for a shoot for a fashion magazine. Metal magazine? So, um, I did quite a lot of in black and white because it was a goth shoot. I would really love to do some, some big art projects and maybe do some documentary photography actually because that's something I haven't really delved into an awful lot apart from taking pictures of my friends and things like that. It would be really nice to go somewhere where something's really going on, you know. 